Hi, this is Shelly from Modern Nurse. I have been a nursing professor and I have taught many nursing students about pediatrics and maternal newborn nursing as well as other classes. And I am going to have a mini lecture for you today about the respiratory system in kids. I'm gonna talk about the things that lead up to respiratory infection in kids and how to assess a child for respiratory dysfunction. First of all, I wanna tell you that there are a lot of biological differences in kids compared to adults. And there are many biological differences that cause them to be more prone to respiratory infections. A lot of general peds floors during the cold and flu season are filled with kids that have lots of respiratory issues. And here are some of the reasons why. For one thing, infants and small children like toddlers and into the preschool years are small, okay? And they have smaller anatomy. And that smaller anatomy, when it gets infected, and comes in contact with some sort of pathogen, it can cause swelling and edema in the respiratory system and that can lead to more respiratory problems. Infants, they tend to be obligated nose breathers, which means they are breathing out of their nose than their mouth. So when they get a respiratory infection where there is edema and secretions in their nose, they're gonna have a much more difficult time breathing. Another thing about children compared to adults is they have a smaller lung capacity and they have their intercostals gives children less of a pulmonary reserve. Children also have higher respiratory rates compared to adults. The smaller the child, the higher the respiratory rate. That can lead to a higher oxygen demand for a young child or a baby and makes hypoxia or the lack of oxygen more likely to occur with a respiratory issue. Another thing is that children have a smaller, narrower airway, and that makes children much more susceptible to airway obstruction and respiratory distress. Children also rely heavily on their diaphragm for breathing, whereas adults, there is less of a need for them to rely on their diaphragm. And another thing is there's a lack of a firm, bony, structure infants their their ribs and their chest it's still developing those bones have not reached full ossification so that makes them prone to having retractions or that pulling when they have a respiratory infection they're prone to that kids it makes them a little more prone to infections respiratory infections than adults uh, one is their age as they age, there is an increase in lymphoid tissue and their immunity increases. So we have been, an adult has been exposed to lots and lots of pathogens and viruses over their lifetime and that has built up an immunity in their system. Infants and young children haven't been exposed to as many things. So they still are in the process of building up their immunity and that makes them more likely to, to succumb to the illness. The size of the diameter of their airways, there's going to be more issues with edema and more increased production of secretion that can block or obstruct their nasal passages and their, the small airways uh, in their respiratory system and that can lead to more distress. They also have a lack of resistance of being able to fight against things. Children are apt to have malnutrition issues, anemia, allergies, preterm birth, which can also lead to asthma type issues, history of respiratory viruses, any cardiac anomalies that can cause pulmonary congestion, exposures. Uh, and this is a big one, like exposures in school setting, exposures to daycare, exposures to secondhand smoke. What makes a kid more susceptible to respiratory infections? Well, one is they can have a compromised immune system. Another is anemia. Another one is nutritional deficiencies. Kids 
and their allergies can make them very susceptible to respiratory infections. Families might not know that a child has an allergy and those allergies can make them susceptible. Another thing is chronic medical conditions. Kids who are born with various syndromes, chromosomal issues, um, there can be asthma, uh, cystic fibrosis, muscular dystrophy. They are very susceptible to respiratory infections because of their disease process and the stage that they're at in their chronic disease. Exposure to pet and pet allergens, that makes them susceptible as well. And then the seasons, uh, living in a region of the country, seasons where there is the cold winters and people are stuck inside more and things get passed around, that can make kids susceptible to infections. If you would do me a favor and hit the like button, that would help me out to know that this is a helpful video to you so that I produce more like it. Um, and if you would click on that subscribe button, that is helpful for me and for YouTube because then YouTube knows they need to be promoting it more. So if you could do that, that would be great. See you next time. This is Modern Nurse.